Sorry. Ah, we're back. So, Dingo. Yo. What? What's your favorite part of Enclave so far? Birds. All the birds. Birds. Burp simulator. I'm glad you said birds. Keep that in mind. So, the thread pretty overwhelmingly voted for the druid. You're so welcome. we're gonna take the druid to Mechalon. And we're gonna go visit like a Caesar-like dude, so I figure we should like dress up for the occasion. Do we get so pants? So maybe we we get we get something like pants. Uh I'm figured out what staff. Uh, fuck the Staff of Storms, it's bad. We're gonna wield the Darkness of Despair. Uh, we're gonna... Hello, Darkness of get, Despair, uh, my so old friend. Exactly. Standing in for Simon and Garfunkel. The medium armor costs a lot, but it's worth it. There we it go, has, we have pants on. Those aren't even, that's like, those aren't even really pants. We have leggings. leggings. We have leggings and a chainmail skirt over our ass. Yeah, nobody... Chainmail chaps, did, really. Didn't anybody tell the druid that leggings aren't pants? No, never. Uh, and with her power, I mean, I wouldn't want to be the one to try and tell her either. That is really ridiculous as a get-up. That is some serious cheesecake. Uh, yeah. Never let it be said that Enclave uh, has realistic armor design. Keep it classy, Enclave. Oh, yeah. I like her pauldrons. Her pauldrons are good. I mean, her, her torso armor is fine, apart from the ridiculous, like, two-inch nipple spikes. Hey man, it's it's good. They always reach the enemy first. It's, it's weaponized, weaponized teats. It's so she can never be grappled. <laughs> um. So. Um. Are, what are you spraying at them? This is the darkness of despair. It's it vaguely seeks. It's like pure black. I choose to believe it's the incarnate. It's the incarnation or the essence of how you feel when you have to play as the half of just like pure black despair uh, that over time destroys even your very soul. So it does 45 on hit and leaves a dot that does 15 damage for several seconds. So it, this thing tears through people. What's up with those enormous bug zappers on the beach? Uh, they, I don't know. It's like the lighthouse here, I guess. Maybe we just missed a really rad party. The flames of Rohan. Whoa, look at all the Pretty gold close. behind this rock. Yep, this is one of the levels where we continue to find uh, the lesson for where's the gold is. What would be the most pain in the ass place to find it? Uh, and go there, and that's where Welcome to Mechalon. Oh, this guys are not doing great on their Yeah, they're freaking AI. out. They normally just they normally just stand by the door. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, it's the, so the lack uh, of pants. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The, the strippers aren't supposed to show up until next Tuesday. They don't know how to deal with someone who's so powerful and yet uh, undressed. No one may see our leader before proving his worth oh, in the really? arena first. Uh, her worth. Her worth in the arena. So speaking of pain in the ass. Look at this little ledge here. Man, it would suck if we had to go all the way around the room on this thing. I'm guessing this is where like 80% of the gold in the level's at. No, but a fair amount. Too much. Uh, most of, well, 20. But the real pain uh, for gold is a sort of trick they play later oh, on. Oh dear. By the way, this gold, also really annoying. Like I said, what would be the most pain in the ass place to go? That's where you'll find it. So can you can you kill these guys? These Roman legionary stand-ins? I see your Maybe. little I see your little reticle um, turning red, so. I know they can die. So, round one of the arena is Oh, by the way. So You said you like why birds. Do, why? Yeah, so, bird time. Here's our new staff. First, if you click and hold, you can summon a stone golem. Or uh, an earth, earth golem, I should say. And then we shoot birds! Yes! Bird this lasers! This is the astral staff, and it's the only staff we have right now that can summon creatures, and that makes it awesome. So, do you, where did the staff come from? Is this a different place? Than this the... is the starter staff. Oh. Uh, you just unlock staffs over time. Now, here's the thing. All these treasures, you only get one per round. 
So if you choose the healing item, you don't get the money. I oh. challenge you. Makes Thanks. sense. Which really sucks. So, well, they don't tell you that. I assumed I just got all of it the first time through, uh, and I never ever got all the money in this stage. Help me, bird friends. Protect me, birds. See, the birds do a fair amount of damage too. They do 50 per hit. The only reason the darkness of despair does more is um, it, it's dot. Oh. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. That's quite all right. Um. So maybe it's just me. It seems like oh, those people from Selenheim. <sighs> Who's our next? Who's our final opponent? Is there something wrong with the people from Selenheim? Defend yourself! Uh, the ancestors are kind of dicks to us. Uh, there's the problem with summoning. If you get knocked back while you're doing it, it stops. Oh. Uh, okay, so... Mechalon seems like a, uh... Pretty advanced place. They've got indoor plumbing, and... They're all, like, Roman legionaries and stuff? Are they not part of the Enclave? Nope. So when when the wizard Zael broke the world in half, the ancestors of Mechalon were on one side and the Enclave was on the other. So, uh, yeah, they're just better off than us in general. Uh-huh. And that is where most of the gold was. We're now up to 320. Yeah. So they had some of the... Uh... Either the you have proved your worth, stranger. Our leader shall speak to you. They either had the Dragatar or the weird fuzzy dudes. Like, do they work with them in this? Or are they servants? Or, like, how does that work? Um, they captured the weird fuzzy dudes. That's basically like the lions at the Roman Coliseum. They're dangerous, and they were there for amusement. Electo will see um, you. The guy's name is Electo. Yeah, these guys... Yep, Electo. They're total dickbags. And also, strangely, like every man who will ever get us, give us orders, he's also fat and bald. Like, he looks almost exactly like Marcus yeah, and Loris. Impressive. I've been watching your every move on your little How? journey. How has he been watching Selenheim your... Selenheim is quite a distance to travel. And I believe uh, we may I don't know, have maybe a, a crystal problem. ball. You are seeking our aid against the outlanders, maybe yes? He's... The magic uh, of Selenheim is inherent the Let's Play. in our lands as well, and they are without any the doubt going to invade us the soon. Let's Play. There is a problem that would have to be dealt with first, however. Hey, you that's see, pretty good mouth the passage for, uh, at Kam Sara is words. very narrow, as you know, and it is yeah, possible no, for an entire army yeah, so to be defeated by a mere handful of men. He's going to mention like a couple of the next own. levels. The passive cams are on, that'll control. be one of the big ones. However, the Dregatar infiltrated from within and um, seized That themselves. pass basically is what's keeping them to from getting you, to us. You will need to see that this uh, so we have to go blow it up. So and we can, get our can you think of any wizards who are and really I good at blowing the only up bits of landmass? Truly be strong enough Gandalf? to do such a thing would be the legendary magician called Zael. Basically, he yeah, this like world's Gandalf, Zael, the guy who split the world in half in the first place. I've heard rumors that he lives I heard still. So fuck this guy. And He's like, he I need to do something near a lake Go find someone. I think he may still if be alive even. If this, we will send the help <laughs> Like, that's, that's the qualifier. We'll help you. Go find, action. like, King Arthur. He may still be alive. It's probably fine. And you may use it to Go find King Arthur, bring it back, and then we'll help you. Your no Highness, biggie. they are coming. They've got boats. That boat does not look like a boat. And it's not a floating boat. It seems it's you get a hurry. It's sort of like the uh, maybe like the first uh, boats the Romans built before they ever had uh, warfare on the water, where they just sort of saw a wrecked Greek boat and tried to build it and practiced on land for a very long time. Nice. So man, it they finally got one of It for real takes like ten seconds to summon that earth bowl. That's unfortunate. On the other hand, it's kicking ass. Nice. What? There he just died. I mean, granted, it was against some pretty strong dudes, but... Uh, they just time out after a little while, oh. actually. Oh, okay, so he's not gonna, like, follow you around the level. No. That's unfortunate. Um, that would uh, be kinda cool. If they did, then I would just stand at the beginning of the level and summon, summon like, six. 
<laughs> but that go, my work. minions. Go, my rocky minions. You'll be I rocky. I mean, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with berserkers, so it, it would have been lovely. I really like it, though, so I keep trying to do it and then get knocked yeah, out of it. Yeah, it just takes too long, man. It really does. Okay, so what was up with the sparkly leaves? What was that about? That's our shield. Oh. First, just look at those goblins, how they fly in on the hand gliders. The goblins are cool. Uh, apparently these guys play a red deck on Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bird blasts! Um, totally forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> yeah, they haven't noticed us, so I figured it's a good time to just sneak a golem. And the golem he doesn't notice completely either. completely so. unimpressed. He does not care. There we go. Now we get to uh, the, the leaf shield, that is our shield. So if you hold down right, uh, uh, right mouse or the block button, you get a shield uh, with all stabs. And if you click left stick while you're doing that, you can send them flying back. I think I show it off a little later. So I noticed you didn't bring a... You didn't bring a dagger. Can you smack somebody with the staff? Nope. Um, I didn't bring a dagger because I wanted to have the bird staff, the darkness of despair, and medium armor. And medium armor costs a hell of a lot. Hell. Oh, that's weird because to me it looks like it's half off. Oh! oh. It's really, it's really mostly on. It's just like 10% off. That 10% is just her ass. <laughs> it's a very crucial 10%. Yeah. Also, it's kind of weird. The all the female characters get their helmet last, and the male characters get their helmet second and armored legs f last. It's I don't know why. You gotta show off them gams, man. You're trying to attract one of the girls. Also, if yeah, you can kind of see down in. Uh, that's where since the Dragatar attacked, the that's where we were fighting. Yeah, some of those the the creepers, the little black furry monsters, have gotten loose and are murdering those guards you were talking about. Oh, well, yeah, yeah no, the the ancestors are dicks, so I don't mind. I mean, we do need their help, sort of, but not those particular. I'm guys, not gonna so. cry, right? So why are the Dragatar attacking these guys, and why are these guys getting their butts handed to them so badly? Because they haven't been attacked by the Dragatar, like, at all. They've been at peace because the Dragatar have been waging war on the Enclave since, like, forever. Um... God, every time you try to do the summon, they notice it. Yeah, it sounds like it draws aggro. It probably should, though, for balance is sake. Yeah. That person is summoning a giant rock golem. We should probably attack them. In their defense, I probably would say the same. Yeah, you always prioritize the summoner first, right? Um, or the healer. But there's not really a healing class in this, because, you know, there's no real just party chug. mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> Aim for their potions! Now that would be terrible if, if they could steal potions from you. I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that's not a thing they can do. Like there's the assassin class or something where the ninjas can't. Oh, this looks horrible. You're just getting rocked in these these columns. Man. It's a cover it's, shooter all of yeah. a sudden. It's a little more quake-like. It's all about strafing and jumping at the right time. Oh, oh God, into the water. <laughs> It's colder than it looks. In my first run at this, uh, <laughs> right. Watch out, the water is colder than it looks. And Actually, shark. that's what happened. I had one of the guys fall into the water and he just sort of died. The Dragatar are like the ancient Greeks. They can't actually swim. They think it's oh, no. the swimming is they think the swimming is bad luck. Like, why are you trying to learn to swim? You just don't go in the water. Uh, then they must be crazy brave to get on those boats. Yeah, man. You know, I'm learning to, like, respect and empathize with the Dragatar more and more as this playthrough goes on. I, I like the homing on the birds. Like, it's not, it's not great, but they circle around. It looks 
A lot of projectiles do it, but it looks the best when the birds are circling that's like they're circling the, prey. That's because the birds are the best at everything. The birds are the best. The birds are I, I don't disagree. But they seem to not have quite as tight a turning radius as like the darkness does. Um, or do I they? think the darkness homes better, but when they when they miss, they all just sort of spin in circles around them. <laughs> Is there a time limit on the birds? Like, do they time out after? Yeah, the, they last a couple seconds. Okay. <laughs> Whenever right. the guy dies, the birds just kind of like, ah, well, I'll see you later. Our job's done here. Okay, so we're out. Well, uh, Electo said that we could take his airship if we filled it with gas. So, you know, you can have the car as long as you remember to fill it up on your way back, right? That's fair. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Hopefully we don't scratch it or ding it. We'll do our best, but I make no promises. Druid is not a licensed driver. Studying to call forth the power of the birds takes a lot of time, and the driver's ad was just on was on the weekends, and I just, you know, shouldn't feel like it. They offered the class through the community college, but, you know, she was busy. She had a she had jobs and things. She had to work on removing pants from her wardrobe completely. Oh, man, pants are so passe, all right? You just need to. Uh, clearly the druid doesn't. Maybe she's like quiet for Metal Gear Solid 5 and she has to breathe through her skin. <laughs> she has pants based. Just her butt. Just her butt. She just well, breathes through her ass. There's, there's no, uh. <laughs> it's like a snorkel. Uh, <laughs> uh, We're terrible people, Dingo. Th she's the one not wearing pants to combat, man. It seems like. To be fair, she's. She's almost completely covered, I, and she does have <laughs> chainmail draping. Oh, she's wearing chainmail chaps. I'm not sure why, but it's How better than nothing. How does that protect against anything? What is she protecting against? Uh, unwanted touches. <laughs> I would think the staff, ah. the staff of literal compressed darkness, good. is going to do a pretty good job oh, of preventing to somebody from touching you unwantedly. Then maybe that's why she doesn't care about pants. She's like, I wield the darkness of despair and birds. I don't need pants. One of these what are you gonna do? One of these things is a drawback, the other a positive. Oh, we're dropping bombs on you from the ship? Oh, I love that even the cutscene it showed how much damage the bomb did. Yep. That's pretty great. Also, uh, I assume that this airship is controlled by pure psychic power because there's no steering mechanism. At all! There's nothing! Yeah, those are some Madonna level uh, armor pieces up at the front. I was thinking Dolly Part personally, <laughs> yeah. Bird shaman. We, uh, yeah, we have harnessed the power of birds, and it is very effective. Oh man, story time! Though the ancestors acclaimed them as heroes after showing such valor and bravery in the defense against the Outlands invasion... Look how invasion, smug he looks man, there. Even, in, the, he, even in this drawing that's supposed to show the him as being had been estranged heroic, from their brothers in like, No, than it's Tubby We were the heroes. Yet very he's, negotiations remember this is written from the Queen of the Enclave, so she's probably gonna draw him like an asshole anyway. The hordes of I like the, uh, the, the centurions though. The eager offer to assist their downtrodden brothers. I mean, I, I like the way most of the stuff in that level looks. It's, a, it's pretty cool. It's a nice change of pace from the dark gray death everything we've been in. Such destruction, but the ancestors explained that it was their own the hope of reaching the yeah, battle in time. This is the, the that's the pass of Kamsara. We'll be blowing that up in a bit. By the nice. enemy was the only obstacle in the uh, fastest healthy. route to Selenheim. Being it's it's like Helm's Deep, but Helm's they have it. Was easily or defended. um. It allowed very few men uh, to keep an entire hot army at bay uh, if need yeah. be, and it would be far too difficult if it I, were not there destroyed. Are a, there is quite Desperate a bit of uh, Lord of the Rings influence for in this game, I've seen. The legendary Absolutely. Uh, was their last uh, fairly shamelessly, but... Known as the Scourge of Vatar, the Bane the way of Zirana, list, like, the man who the, the, Everything the has, like, three different Zale names, must be like... Found. Durin's Bane, and the One to Ring... Find him. No, Durin's Bane, the Scourge and of our people, the Spawn of Melkor, for its the Balrog, everything has four names. 
She had a wedgie, and she delved too far, too deep, too greedily. <laughs> Her pants delved too greedily and too deep. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. The druid's bane. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe the druid uh, had some trouble with with pants once upon a time, and now no druids ever wear pants it's, for safety. Thigh-based magic. I'm not trying to be creepy it's about a, the fact that Drew doesn't wear pants. It's just such a weird, odd design decision to have. I, I, mean, I feel like it stands out a little more so when, like, the Huntress is not show is barely showing any skin at all, like her hands and maybe midriff, and the halfling is wearing full clothes. Yeah, you might, the halfling everyone might else as well seems, be male. Like, everyone. Everyone seems so sensibly dressed, and then just the druid's just like, I mean, pants. Uh, pants aren't necessary. I'm just gonna wear a leotard. <laughs> Don't mind me, just putting on my chainmail garter. Chainmail garter, chainmail chaps. It's really assless chainmail it's, it's chaps. It's weird. It's it's it comes across as strange. I mean, is it because nowhere else really are they are they doing that much? mindless pandering so why for her uh the only person who wears um even close to the uh less close than her is the princess that you oh, see yeah. in that one cutscene. she was wearing like a bikini but whatever princesses can do what they want yeah, I guess. that was weird i remember that she's just like hanging out in this chamber with her mom and 12 dudes in robes and she's in some kind of princess leia slave bikini Right, she exactly. She looks like a slave at her at, at her mother's side and her mother's Jabba, but it's, it's keeping it all in the family, I guess. <laughs> it she looks like something that if you went looking for a, a screen cap of that to put in the thread, you'd have to clear your Google search history afterwards to avoid having to explain <laughs> it to your parents. Chris Hansen pops uh, up. Uh, I'm gonna need you to take a seat right over there, please. Can you? So it's it shows so here. So I heard your let's playing Enclave. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yeah, it's this really great game. Yeah, but can you explain these pictures of this princess by her mother's side wearing this slave bikini? Man, that's just character design. It, it's it's all about visual appeal. It's she's royalty and she never sees combat, so she's just trying to be comfortable in the heat, I guess. <laughs> and in their defense, there is a lot of exposed magma. Right. Um, enclave, the enclave, very close to the core of the earth. Or at least the mantle. It's nice. It, it keeps everybody warm. Okay. Geothermal power supply. Yeah, man. Although, really, in a, in a world where magic is a thing that exists, I, I can't imagine they're having to deal too much with energy crisis. Well, that and they almost, do, they don't really, at least the Enclave barely has any sort of mechanized anything. Um, the Ancestors have freaking airships, which is a bizarre leap in technology. That is strange, especially considering the rest of them are, are they're Romanesque. Everything is right. like tile and stuff. They, they have gunpowder. They have gunpowder because they have cannons, but no personal firearms. I guess it's just not necessary when you have magic. I, I, that's that's kind of a thing. Whenever you have something, uh, you know, uh, for lack of a better term, a technology or, or some kind of weapon that does not function off of the same rules of entropy that any other traditional warfare exists off of. I mean, it's just it's never going to rust. You're never going to run out of ammunition um, that's not regenerating, at least. Uh, I mean, does There'd it There'd be cause... no need to develop the other technologies. Yeah, I mean, is there... You've already filled the gap and more. Yeah. No, so there's no nothing need. Nothing you make... Plus, I mean... Nothing you make could ever compare to something that is literally infinite. And yet we still have, like, bomb arrows. Those are pretty advanced. Yeah. It's, it's very strange. I mean, they have explosives. And they have cannons. But not, like, personal... You know uh, I got it. It's rule of cool. Rule of cool. Explosive arrows are just cooler than guns, That's and cannons now, are also cooler than guns. Uh, some kind of like pistol, like a, a pistol arrow or uh, a repeater rifle or something would have been cool for the halfling. Like giving them guns uh, as a tinkerer, I think that would have been kind of neat. 
there would have been a lot of things we could have done to make the halfling cool. Like remove the uh, pants. But they did. <laughs> yes, that's what they really needed. Full circle. You know, I was playing with the halfling, but the problem was they were just wearing too many clothes to be this, effective. <laughs> this pants-based gameplay is not for me. You take you take the weapons of the knight, the crossbow from the ranger, nothing from anyone else, and the lack of pants from the druid. Perfect hybrid character. It's it's true. I mean, there we go. Enclave two, right there. You're welcome. From four twenty, blaze it. 